Hi everybody, David Dilling from Mark Square here. I Hate Living in Apartments had a great question over on our YouTube channel. What the heck is an InDesign IDML used for? What's the benefit of it? Well, it's a good question, I Hate Living in Apartments. I've often wondered outside of real InDesign geeks how many knew or know what IDML is. It's the InDesign markup language from Adobe. Adobe defines IDML as an XML-based format for representing InDesign content. IDML effectively allows for backwards compatibility with newer versions of Adobe InDesign. It's also a great way to back up your file. Let me show you how it works. In InDesign, you can do a file export and choose from various formats, including InDesign Markup or IDML. You can also do a file save as in modern versions of InDesign, like this is here, CC 2020, and also choose for IDML, where they've added the InDesign CS4 later to make it clearer the benefits of IDML. The .IDML is like a wrapper around your content, zipped up and inside this container. If we take a look at it, like under a microscope, so to speak, you'll see that inside the XML or the IDML, you'll get all the attributes and the resources like fonts, graphics, preferences, styles, etc. Does an IDML contain the images, the linked assets? No, it does not contain the linked images. Yes, it will include the embedded images. Just want to break in here again, just for a very important note. Embedding images will bloat your InDesign file greatly and will also bloat the resulting IDML. We have other videos on why it's better to link and not embed images. It goes deeper than you think. It can also corrupt your InDesign file. I'm not kidding. We get a lot of these bad files in. All right, so that's what IDML is from Adobe. Now for the fun part. Nowadays, IDML is being used by other third parties. For instance, Quark Express and the new Affinity Publisher import IDML files. The problem is you need InDesign, and that's where we here at Marksware can help out. We have the new ID Marks application, a standalone macOS application, which allows you to preview and convert InDesign files without the need for Adobe Creative Cloud. Preview is very easy. You just drag and drop an InDesign file on the interface. And again, nice high resolution preview of the file. From there, you can export and there's various details or options available for exporting, including IDML, but also PDF and ping. And lastly, you convert. You can convert automatically to the IDML to InDesign, Quark, or Affinity Publisher, like you see here is happening on screen. With a click, you get that huge InDesign document, this dealer sales guide, right up in Affinity Publisher. Go over to marksware.com today if you want more information how you can preview, export, and convert your Adobe InDesign content. ID Marks is for InDesign users and viewers alike and those dabbling in other areas like Affinity Publisher. Thank you, everybody. That's what IDML is and a little bit bonus material on how to use IDML and other DTP applications and how ID Marks can help you achieve this. By the way, ID Marks is completely free for just previewing, so check it out today, like we mentioned on Marksware.com. All right, everybody, have a great day. David Dilling from Marksware, signing off.